Hello, hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Kat. I am the Nurse Flipper. It is a Monday, and we had an amazing weekend of sales on eBay. We did over $1,100 just yesterday. We have almost $2,000 going out on eBay, as well as $300 going out on Etsy, Mercari, and Poshmark. So I am going to show you all of those sales right now. All right, so I will be talking with you as well about our preparations for Hurricane Ian coming up. For those of you that don't know, we are about 20 miles inland from Cedar Key, Florida, which currently is in the middle of the projected path for Hurricane Ian. So we have some precautions already in place. I'm going to let you know what I'll be doing in anticipation of Hurricane Ian and Hopefully it will sear left or right, but we are going to prepare the best we can. So I'll talk about that a little bit at the end as well. So up first is actually a little playing card set. These are vintage Las Vegas, Nevada, upside down playing cards. These are sealed. I paid less than 50 cents. They sold for $4.40 and less than a month. So pretty fast, really easy to ship. Buyer did pay five in shipping. Up next is these beautiful, beautiful silk pillowcases. I actually picked these up for $5 thrifting. They do have some defects. They do have some holes. I did point those out. These two actually sold for $50 plus international shipping. So these are about a $40 profit. All right, up next is a long burger lid. So I bought a bunch of lids for under a dollar each in the same auction that I got my long burger basket. This lid sold in under a day for $11.69. So it's actually about a $10 profit. The buyer did pay $9.65. I'm gonna ship this in a USPS padded flat rate envelope. Next is a beautiful little elephant brooch. It sold for $12.98 really really cute clear rhinestones red eye and this one did take about four or five months to sell sold for $12.98 I'm about two dollars in so it's about an eight dollar profit plus the buyer paid five in shipping up next is a beautiful perfume bottle this is kind of Moroccan style I actually got this for only about three dollars it sold in about three months for $35.09 plus the buyer paid about 10 in shipping so it's going to be about a $27 profit and it sold really really fast it's a beautiful perfume bottle I think I'm down to two of the really pretty perfume bottles from the lot this next sale is the highest selling of the weekend and it is a Dresden cachet pot so this does have the 3d flowers I did pay about $50 for this I got two of them so I still have one other one left it is clearly marked Dresden on the bottom it's only about seven inches tall and this one sold for $226.85 making it about $140 profit for me it did take about a year to sell and then more longa burger items that aren't baskets they had longa burger clothes in this auction and I got them for under a dollar a piece this longa burger sweatshirt sold in under a month so it's got the longa burger with holly and it is from Longa Burger Homestead. And this one again sold very, very fast. And it sold for $19.49. So it's about a $14 profit. And it sold really fast. Buyer did pay $9.65 in shipping. This one will also go in a padded flat rate. Up next is a Tennessee Titans bucket hat. This one does look new, does not appear to have been worn really really nice i paid a dollar it sold in about three months for 14.50 plus the buyer paid six in shipping so this one is close to a ten dollar profit so watch out for that nfl stuff again hat shirts different souvenirs they are selling really good now because it is football season we have got tons of longa burger stuff that 
is not baskets some of it is this next one is this is a little longa burger 19.99 peppermint basket it is from the tree trimming collection let me show you what it looks like here this one as you see is new with the box the liner and the protector it sold in under two days for $29.24 i did pay eight so it's about a 15 dollar profit and it sold really fast up next is an item that has been sitting on my death pile for over a year my daughter listed it this is a little queen's guard it is a sleepy eye doll if you see the eyes there only about eight inches this one sold for 18 dollars in under two days from being listed two days i paid less than a dollar in a lot so it's about a 14 dollar profit and then a long a burger that's not a basket this is a long a burger bear ornament so it's got its little longa burger basket there and a little santa hat this one sold in under a month and it sold for 30 dollars for one ornament i picked it up in a lot i'm about two dollars in it does have the original box which i will show you sold really fast and is going to be about a 25 dollar profit all right up next is a license plate this one is Maryland 1966. This one sold for $11. I paid a dollar each and a lot. This one took about two months to sell and is about an $8 profit. The buyer did pay six in shipping. So I know some of you get tired of seeing all the license plates and all the Harley pins, but the idea of these Monday videos is to show you real reseller life. You see what I'm buying and you see what's going out and you see the effect that buying lots has. So today there are only four license plates total, but when we first bought them, there were over 20. So it is just reality. I don't want to condense it. I don't want to leave stuff out. I show you stuff from $3 all the way up to over $200 today so reality is for me a mix of items and sometimes a lot of the same that's just how it goes and i like to keep it real i like to be transparent and show you exactly what i sold next is some longa burger basket liners so these were not new in the bag but they did have it written on them which basket they were for this pattern is trellis rose there are three of these i paid three dollars they sold for 15.49 and under a month plus the buyer paid six in shipping and these are about a nine dollar profit up next is a pillowcase i paid a dollar for two of these these are actually pottery barn kids the first one actually sold for 10 this one's been here for a while so it sold for four dollars and 45 cents plus the buyer paid five in shipping so this one's going to be about a three dollar profit and it took over a year to sell but the other one i got in a set with it sold really fast so you never know up next is this beautiful glass gold and green clover egg this one i paid a dollar it sold for 15 dollars, so it's going to be about a 11 dollar profit and it sold in about two months buyer did pay five in shipping and then this is a bag <laughs> it's dv1 it's a bag of six lion king beanie baby plushes i'll pop a picture up on top of them these sold for 28 dollars. i paid a little under two each so I'm about 12 dollars in so these are going to be about a 12 dollar profit and these took over a year to sell and the buyer did pay 965 another padded flat rate so this poly will slide into a padded flat rate envelope pretty easy up next is another ornament so if you're not listening christmas yet get it up this is a beautiful little irish snowman he has blown glass i paid a dollar he sold for eleven dollars plus the buyer paid five in shipping so he's about an eight dollar profit and he sold in about a month and a half and then we have another license plate this one is from 1969 paid a dollar it sold for 12.99 in about two months buyer did pay six in shipping so this one's about a nine dollar profit and then this little duck dynasty clip thing took two years to sell two years and it sold for a whole three dollars and 41 cents it'll be really easy to ship though it was already listed i left it up about a two dollar profit all right up next is going out to a viewer it is going out to kate so kate thank you so much for your purchase these are super these are super cute these are some really cool stackable fire king mugs they are this really cool red orange color and they all 
stack inside of each other. It is a set of four. Kate picked them up for $40.94. Plus she paid $18 in shipping. These guys are pretty heavy. I paid about $5 for those. So it's going to be about a $30 profit and they took a couple of months to sell. Not very long. So Kate, thank you so much for your purchase and watching. I really, really appreciate it. And then a tiny little teacup that sold for $51. I did pay up for this one. I did pay $9.99 at the thrift store. This one is a Carlsbad and it is Dimitash. You can see it is TT tiny. Look at the graphics, really beautiful. Look at that gold. There's the bottom. And this one sold for $50 or $51.98. I paid 10, so it's about a $30 profit after fees. And it did take over a year to sell. Up next is another high dollar sale. This one sold for $150 and it's a very, it's very, very heavy. It's like weightlifting. This is a really cool pewter sculpture of a warrior. It is signed on the bottom, Apache Raider. And this is by Jim Ponter. This one I paid 50, he sold for 150. It's very heavy. He sold for 150 in about two months, so not too bad. And he's about a $70 profit after fees. And he is going international, he is going international. They paid $70 for the shipping. Up next is this divided porcelain corningware dish. This one sold for a whole $10. Not very much for this big of a breakable. So I would rethink it if I had this to do again. Sold for 10, I only paid two. So it's about a $6 profit, sold in about two months. And the buyer did pay 12 in shipping. And then another teacup. This one is really pretty. This is Royal Standard. It's got the black. I am gonna wipe that off. It's been here sitting on my desk, sitting on my desk. It's only been listed about three months, but it's very dusty. This one sold for $27.06 plus the buyer paid 10 in shipping. I paid about five, so it's about a $17 profit. And then a little Wedgwood trinket box. I paid $2 for this. It is ribbed on the side. Clearly marked Wedgwood took about a year to sell. It sold for 20, so it's about a $14 profit. And the buyer did pay 12 in shipping. And then I sold this little reproduction photo booth strip. This one sold for 13. I paid a dollar, so it's about a $9 profit. And then I love the bright colored license plate. This orange 1952 Illinois plate sold for $16. Again, I paid a dollar. This one's about a $12 profit sold in about two months. Buyer paid six in shipping. Up next is my absolute favorite item that is going out today. It is pottery. It is by Lewis Mydeke. This is a beautiful turquoise colored bowl. Really, really awesome. It is clearly signed Mydeke. It is a small bowl, as you can see. Small bowl, and this one sold for $90 five dollars it did take about six months to sell i paid eight so it's about a seventy dollar profit and the buyer did pay 16 in shipping and then this is a little ooh, a nesco vintage nesco oriental little brass wall divider you can see it in my hands there this one sold for 20 i paid about three dollars so it's about a 12 dollar profit and it sold in two months buyer did pay six in shipping which probably was not enough this feels like it's over a pound so i might have lost out a little bit on shipping it does happen occasionally i estimate because i've been doing this so long i would not recommend doing that if you are new i i hit them about 85 percent of the time i get them right next is three pretty plain jane frames they are all eight by ten this one is plastic one is metal and one is wood so these were in a lot. I didn't even know they went to one of my listers. She listed them as a lot of three and they actually, they sold pretty fast. I was really surprised. They sold for 10 bucks. I'm okay. I'm only a couple of dollars in. They're about a $6 profit and the buyer did pay 12 in shipping. So I will wrap them in some bubble wrap and get them out to the buyer. I will tell you if I had seen those, I probably would have given those away versus listing them. Up next is a little tea set with a pretty gold gilt 
little creamer there and teapot and a little under plate this little set sold for eight dollars i paid a dollar so it's about a five dollar profit honestly that is not something i would pick up again it took over a year to sell and then that was dramatic nothing broke <laughs> another license plate this one's 1967 vermont and this one sold for 12.99 so it is about a nine dollar profit up next is a pretty decent longer burger basket sale so this does have the divider so most of mine came with their little card so you can see this one does say card keeper and i want to tell you just in case you find them with the liner all of mine were actually underneath they were underneath all of this i had to take it all out and the person had kept the card so i would check underneath everything to see if you have the card this one i paid about ten dollars and it sold in under a month for $55 so it's about a $35 profit sold really fast buyer did pay 10 in shipping all right up next this buyer got a total of four items for right at $40 so about $10 on average per item I paid a dollar so this order all together is about a $30 profit all of this stuff has been listed less than a month so let me show you what she got she got this beautiful hot pink silk scarf does have really really cool beads there on the edge i'm trying to show you it doesn't want to show you look oh there they are really really pretty beads on the edge this one is unbranded and then she also got this really pretty karen this is a really nice gray and black scarf plus she got two harley davidson pins there is this one as well as this one and these are going to miss robin i'm not sure if miss robin's a viewer or not miss robin if you are a viewer thank you so much for your purchase up next is eight salad plates so these are fantasia by sango and the buyer got eight salad plates this is a little sticker up here i'm gonna try and get it off she got eight for 30 dollars plus she paid 12 in shipping i paid less than a dollar for the whole set it was in a box lot that was really cheap so this is about a 22 dollar profit and then if you don't know this name definitely look her up this is a beautiful Catherine popesco enamel brooch her brooches are very very distinct and they are clearly marked there on the back Catherine popesco this one sold in about six months for 28 dollars plus the buyer paid five in shipping i paid about five dollars so this one is going to be about a 17 dollar profit another item that's been sitting in my death pile forever these converse i paid five dollars they sold in under two days from being listed sold for forty dollars and 94 cents buyer paid eight in shipping making them about a 30 dollar profit I cannot sell if it is not listed not sell if it is not listed remember that if you're not listing a lot and you have the time get to listing do you hear it <laughs> up next is this little two and a half inch brass bell i only paid a couple dollars sold for 16.50 plus the buyer paid 10 in shipping it is a pretty heavy little bell and this one will be about a 12 dollar profit and then if you do not know some yarn can be very very valuable this is a little a little thing of yarn this is Milamia from sweden this is 100 percent virgin wool and this little one skein sold for 1949 i'm less than a dollar in this little thing of yarn sold in under a month and it's a 15 dollar profit i sold these two stangle plates i actually picked these up for two dollars a plate up in pennsylvania so i paid 14 buyer got two of them for 19.48 so they're about a 10 dollar profit and they are clearly marked hand painted and stangle up next some ink three dollars and took two years to sell so i actually got like a giant box of ink from an online auction and most of it was worth 20 25 dollars each but there were a few generic ones in there that were not worth much they took forever to sell i wish i would have just given them away but they were already listed so three dollars i'm pennies in so it's about a two dollar profit but it took forever and then these really pretty hammered hoop earrings 
I paid about three dollars for these they sold for $9.74 so they're about a four to five dollar profit and they sold in under a month buyer did pay five in shipping and last on eBay and then we have three hundred dollars from the other platform last on eBay is this Dale Jr. shirt I only paid a dollar this one sold in under two months for twenty dollars buyer did pay six in shipping so this one is going to be about a fifteen dollar profit and this one was a 3xl the bigger sizes definitely sell better for me typically all right over on etsy this is this is a close for first of my favorite look at this cute little diorama it's got the doctor writing it's got the skeleton hanging in the back it's got a medical degree it's got a patient this one sold for sixty dollars on etsy i paid less than five so it's about a 45 dollar profit and it sold in two months and then also on etsy i sold this north carolina this is a 1960 five license plate this one sold for 30 dollars on etsy buyer did pay shipping i also sold this longa burger bowl without the lid it does have the insert but no lid and this one sold for 25 dollars over on etsy in under a month and then this little windmill this is a music box it is signed does work this one sold on etsy for 35 i paid five so it's about a 25 dollar profit sold again in about two months and then over on mercari i sold this broncos ornament this one sold for eight i paid a dollar so this one's about a six dollar profit is sold in about two months and then also on mercari we sold this picnic table blanket it is a long burger this one sold for 29 dollars on mercari i only paid a dollar so it is about a 24 dollar profit sold in under a month and then another long burger basket liner this one it says is for the eight meter wash basket that same yellow rose trellis pattern this one sold on mercari for 20. all of the liners and fabrics i only paid a dollar each so this one's about a 15 dollar profit and then on Poshmark so we had about $70 in sales on Mercari 70 in sales on Poshmark and about 150 on Etsy so if you're not cross posting and your sales are slow use this perfectly to cross post use it I pay 69 a month we get over $2,000 a month in sales somebody asked me in the comments last week why are you cross posting when most of your sales come from eBay which is true about 85 to 90 percent of our sales are from eBay but it's $2,000 extra a month, $2,000 extra a month. Plus, what if something happens to eBay? You know, heaven forbid I get suspended. I need a backup platform. This is my income. This is how I pay my bills. So that is why I cross post. So if you want to try it, I have a code for 30% off list perfectly. The Nurse Flipper, all uppercase, all one word. Try it. Try it out for 30% off the first month. Okay, Poshmark martha stewart there's the tag this is a table runner and some placemats you do not know martha stewart does well these sold for 28 dollars on poshmark here's the table runner 28 bucks in under two months i only paid three dollars so they are going to be about a 15 dollar profit last thing last thing and then i'll tell you some hurricane prep this is a harley davidson 100 year anniversary pen this one sold on poshmark for 23 dollars, so it is about a 15 dollar profit all right so that is it about 2200 dollars in sales going out absolutely great sales weekend hurricane ian is coming it is headed straight for us we are in the center of the projection cone so what are we doing what will we do so first of all a couple of you have asked if my sheds are tied down my sheds are all tied down and rated to withstand 180 mile per hour hurricane winds it is a requirement in the state of florida so the roofs <laughs> the roofs might blow off but the sheds aren't going anywhere we also have insurance coverage of over seventy thousand dollars on our inventory I do have over 200,000 listed, but I could easily replace it with $70,000. So that's why I went with the lower coverage amount. I went with like cost coverage versus an actual retail value. So 
that is covered if there is any damage to it and it also will cover lost income if for some reason we sustain damage we are unable to run the business while we are fixing that so as far as that we are pretty much covered i do recommend having some type of insurance on your inventory if you do not some people have said their homeowners would allow them to do it in it our homeowners would not so we do have a separate business policy so as far as that is covered as far as if we're gonna stay or go brad and myself both are native born floridians we have both lived the majority of our life in florida so we have been through multiple pretty pretty big hurricanes i woke up in 1992 with a tree next to my bed it came through the roof and i slept through it i slept through it um so i went through hurricane andrew living in jacksonville hurricane irma gave us some damage about four years ago four or five years ago some downed trees um no really bad structural damage and we're not in a super high flood zone area so the sheds are raised off of the ground so i'm not overly worried as far as inventory if a tree comes through it you know there's nothing i can do and we do we do have a lot of trees on our property so the biggest concern for us is going to be the trees coming down in the wind as of right now it looks like we are expected to get 80 to 90 mile per hour winds so if we stay in the center of the cone get a direct hit we will go somewhere else if we are not expecting a direct hit we most likely will say we do have two generators for our house so we do have a way to run power and that will also run our well so we we have been through a lot of hurricanes we're not scared we have our supplies it is it is kind of scary and kind of worrisome worrying what damage will be caused but we will be okay we will be okay the big thing will be the community and kind of rallying around in the after math of it so we are hoping for not a direct hit i do not wish a direct hit on anybody but it is very apparent that ian is going to hit somewhere in florida here coming up in the next few days so i will try to keep you updated i've recorded all of my videos for this week already so they should definitely be out and i appreciate you watching i appreciate all your thoughts and i will see you on wednesday i'm going to go over the seller hub how to do sales how to access your ebay shipping coupon just some little features that i use that i think make selling easier on ebay and then on friday we are going to do a high dollar brooch video i haven't done one in about six months so it is only brooches and i'm super excited to share that with you do not forget hurricane dependent I will be live on whatnot Wednesday at 11 a.m. I already have 100 items cataloged. I will be giving away over $500 in jewelry free. You just have to be there watching and you can enter, including a $250 Miriam Haskell necklace set. So come over, hang out. If you haven't signed up, I will put the link in the description. You get $15 free to spend on whatnot. So you can come and shop with me for free. Come, come get some jewelry. I appreciate you watching. Again, thank you for all your thoughts. And I will see you on Wednesday with my live whatnot sale. And don't forget, tomorrow we are live. Julian is still not feeling 100%. He is feeling better. But Julian will not be on the show tomorrow. So I'm excited to have a co-hosting with me, Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas. And our special guests are going to be Rachel Strickland as well as Sarah Styles LLC. All three of these ladies have been on before. They are all amazing amazing wonderful positive people so it should be a great show so i look forward to seeing you in the live show tomorrow at 8 p.m and live on whatnot i've talked enough i've talked enough ian don't don't come here no ian all right bye guys <laughs>